Today was the release of the fifth issue of Boom Studios Mighty Morphin comic book series. As I am sure you are all aware, I have been a huge fan of the Boom Studios comics since the start. They have really brought a breath of fresh air to Power Rangers, and the latest run, Mighty Morphin, has been no different. The current storyline has followed the mysterious new Green Ranger, and at the end of the last issue, it was finally revealed that it was Matt Cook, Kimberly's ex-boyfriend. In this issue, we get a flashback of sorts to the events leading up to this reveal, including how Matt became the Green Ranger. If you are not up to date with this series, be sure to check out my recaps of the other issues on the channel. Okay, let's get into issue 5. The issue begins with a flashback to five weeks ago in Angel Grove. We have a so-called voiceover from Matt talking about how he is no hero and no fighter. As this is being said, he is shown saving a civilian from falling debris. As he closes his eyes, expecting death, he opens them to see that he is in Promethea, in front of Grace Sterling, who wastes no time and instantly offers Matt the Green Ranger powers, telling him that he might not survive the process. Matt agrees and the morph goes off without a problem. In his first fight, he takes on Lord Zed and has to improvise his way through it, eventually destroying the Chaos Crystal to win the fight. I'm not covering this section in too much detail because it's obviously all been shown in previous issues, just from a different perspective. Back at Promethea, Grace asks Matt if he wants to continue as the Green Ranger, explaining that when she was a Ranger, the powers were taken away from her, but he has a choice. To be honest, I was actually expecting some sort of reaction from Matt about this information, but there was nothing. I might be wrong, but I don't think this was something he already knew. Anyway, after a little convincing, Matt clearly accepts the position as we get a little montage of sorts of Matt training and fighting bad guys. He then reveals to his parents that he had quit the football team to do some volunteer work, much to their disappointment as he is likely to lose any chance of a scholarship. Something I would really like to know is, is Matt getting paid for this position? Obviously, being a ranger for Promethea is very different for him than it is for the other rangers. He has essentially been employed by a private company. I'd love to know the salary of a green Power Ranger. During Matt's training, Grace gets extremely frustrated by his slow progress in combat. After a little lecture, he asks to go again, but Grace says he needs to come and meet his new partner. Grace then takes him to see Billy, who hands him an updated Dragon Dagger. After explaining what it does, they tell Matt that he can play it like a flute to summon the Dragon Zord, although it's actually explained that it's more of a case of the flute playing him. Matt then gets to meet the Dragon Zord, which has also had some armor and weapon upgrades, as well as a surprise for a special occasion. I can't wait to see what that is. Next, we see Matt talking to Kimberly about the Green Ranger's identity. She explains that she feels like she trusts him, but he'll probably just end up being some crazy alien that just wants to kill them all. It seems like Matt is about to tell Kim the truth, but she gets summoned to her Ranger duties before he can. We then get to pretty much where we left off in the last issue, the Dragon Zord taking on one of the giant putties, and it tries to combine with the White Tiger Sword, which fails. But my god, I hope that happens soon. Then Matt gets brought back to Promethea while in the middle of protecting some civilians, which he was not pleased about. He makes the decision to reveal his identity to the public via a broadcast, to let them know that he is there to protect them, and showing them he is human, making him a little more relatable. Okay guys, that is it for this issue. Not really much new information here. Same story, but from a different perspective. Now, that's not a complaint from me at all, as it's definitely something I wanted, and I think we needed to see. So overall, it was a good issue, and it did leave me wanting more. I want to know if we will ever see the Dragon Zord and White Tiger Zord combination. I want to know, will Matt end up becoming a permanent part of a seven-member Power Ranger team? How will the other Rangers react to this identity reveal? So much good stuff to come. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this recap. We have two or three Power Ranger videos uploaded every single week, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thank you all so much for watching. May the power protect you, and I will see you next time on The Sixth Ranger.